Hello everyone, how are you all? I have arrived with a new video, how to remove a plaster. For the removal of plaster these things are needed. Number 1, two kinds of spreader. Number 2, plaster cutting scissors. Number 3, plaster cutting saw. To remove a plaster, you need to know what this procedure is called. This procedure is called bivalve procedure. What we do in bivalve procedure is that we cut the plaster from both sides. I will do the marking on both sides. I will cut the plaster with this marking in mind. There are several types. Plaster cutting machines. We have a similar machine. It also has a vacuum which attracts the dust from the plaster. This protects the patient's clothes. Its sound is loud. So I will tell everything about this procedure. Because I would not be able to say anything. Cause you will not be able to hear me when I will be using this machine. What I told you is that if you want to remove the plaster, you can remove it using this procedure, whatever it is in the leg, hand, etc. The method of removing plaster is called bivalve procedure. When the plaster is too tight, we do the same procedure to make it loose. But here, we are removing the plaster, so, I will teach you how to do it. There is a holding point on the plaster cutting saw. Through which you can control your palm. You don't have to hold it from here because you will not be able to cut it properly. You have to hold it from here so that your grip is good. Also, be careful when you are cutting the plaster and note that don't put it there for for long. And if possible, tell the patient that the blade doesn't rotate, instead it vibrates. Because if it rotates, it will injure the patient. It just vibrates, but it looks like this that the patient thinks it's rotating, which frightens the patient. So you will first tell the patient that this machine does not injure anyone, it's just vibrating. If you tell him this, he will be satisfied with you, and then he will allow you. Look, its sound is too loud, let me tell you in advance. When you cut the plaster, you will feel the layers of plaster and cotton. What I mean is, when you put the blade on the plaster, for a moment, you will feel that the plaster is gone and you are touching the cotton. At this time, you have to pull the blade towards yourself. Push and pull gradually. Don't start from the middle. Try to start from the side. If you start in the middle, the pressure will be on the machine which will lead to damaging of the machine. So always remember how to do it. Now I will start the procedure, because in the meantime I will not be able to talk.
Now look, I have cut from one side now. I will cut the other side in the same way. And then I use spreader. Here's how to remove it. When you become experienced. And I will tell you how to remove it in an expert's way. Continue when you become experienced. It's done. That's what I said at the end. You have to do it after you become experienced. Now, we will take the spreader. Put the spreader inside and open it from the both sides. Because of the stockinette here. These edges do not cut because the plaster cutter machine does not work on it. And in the same way, use the spreader from the other side and open it. And then you can cut with scissors from either side. Hope you like my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I want permission, see you in the next video.